Good morning everybody, this is Renee from Nene's Garden. Uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to deadhead petunias properly. Uh, one of the things that I, I do want to point out as well is that a lot of these, they grow really, really quickly. This one's going to need to be uh, cut down and deadheaded. A lot of them died in, an, in another uh, torrential rainstorm. But what we're going to do is cut this down. But the reason why I wanted to show this one is many times they grow out okay and they need a larger container like any other plant or flowers as they grow sometimes you have to trip to transplant them so what I did is I had another hanging basket I um, took the hook off and then I transferred it into a larger container uh, like I did here okay so we're gonna actually deadhead this one and as you see as soon as I took this out of that this is what happened. It just fell forward because it's grown out so much. So sometimes with these, when it's like that, you're gonna see some stems that are really leggy. And you're gonna have to decide if you, you wanna cut those off. And you're also gonna have to put more dirt in the container as well and fertilizer. So we're gonna actually start to deadhead now. Now, the reason why I think this is so important is for years, I love petunias and for years, I planted them, you know, on my deck or had, you know, hanging baskets with them. And I would plant them at the end of April here in Charlotte. Um, our zone uh, here is 7B and 8A. So most of the time I'll start plant, um, planting things and putting things out in the yard at the end of April. And then I would notice when June got here of how bad they would look, even though I thought I was deadheading. Now, when I say deadheading, this is what I mean. When I come and I look at the flowers and I see something dead I would just pull that out the actual dead petal or dying petal but what I should have been doing now look at this look closely at this is pulling this whole thing out because underneath your petal is a seed pod you see how thick that is okay this whole thing should have been pulled out so let's go to another one now this one is a fresh one is coming in this is a dead one so I don't just pull that out I pull this whole thing out because what happens guys is if you do not do that you will have an arrangement full of seed pods and what that's telling your flowers is well go dormant because it's time for me to die I'm an annual and I have finished blooming okay so what you need to do is to get those dead seed pods out so why don't we start where I am here and usually when I'm doing this, I'll take the time to look throughout the whole branch. Because you see, look, they're older ones as well that may not even have a dead flower hanging off of them and pull them off. So you can either pull these off or actually cut them off with your shears. Okay, now also if I see anything brown, I'm going to clip that out as well. Here's another one just pull it off these need some water too that's why they're looking like that this here I'm just gonna cut down just go to this stem any of this brown stuff just get out of there because if you do not deadhead and pull off dead leaves and anything that's dead in your arrangement the energy that the plant needs to grow is gonna go continue to go and try to sus sustain that oh, that dead stuff as well. When you cut it away, then the energy can go to the new blooms and the new leaves that are forming. Anything yellow, I'm turning. If something looks like it's about to fall off, just chop it off. Just take it right off. And part of doing this is also cleaning up your plant to make it look better. See, here's a seed pot. Look at that. Look at that. They're all over this. And I particularly see this when you have a rain for more than two days or so, continuous rain. And when you get back to your plant, you're going to see so many of these things. Now, remember... Petunias are not the only ones that have seed pods, okay? All flowers do. So you gotta look for them and you gotta cut that stuff out. 
next stem. Let's turn. Look at all of this. I'm just going to cut that out. Now what I love about petunias is they do grow really well when you do this. So after you cut it down, it, you know, it may not seem as full as it, it looked when you began. But when I tell you it's going to grow back faster, it is. And there's so many different varieties of petunias and so many different colors. I'm turning it. Dead stuff all over the place. Now, this is the first summer that I'm, I'm paying so much attention um, to these because I've always loved flowers. I was an event designer for many years and I would do bridal flowers and all of that. But I, I never really was into growing things myself. So, I know the way things should look and how to make things really pretty. So yeah, I would buy the flowers and I would put them out, but I didn't want to take the responsibility really of learning and educating myself on how to grow things properly. And I would say that this season is the first time that I'm doing this. And that's why I started this blog so that beginners that are learning like myself, we can learn together and make mistakes together. And everything I learn, I'm going to pass along. Here's another big one. I like the big ones like this. Can you see that? There's no mistaking that. And be very careful because you have old seed pods, but sometimes you may have something new coming up that may kind of look like that. And cut that out by mistaking. You don't want to do that. Let's turn over here. Here's another one. And I'm just amazed. Oh my goodness, when it rains, oh boy. These things die out quickly and then there's the seed pods all over the place. Now, look at that. Now see, that's not a seed pod. You see that fleshy part in there? That's actually a petal that's maturing. So you have to be very careful. You don't, you don't wanna cut the good stuff away because it's right next, it could be right next to a seed pod. Just cutting it out. Look at all of these. Oh my goodness. And now that I know what I'm looking for, my eye goes directly to them. And if you see something that's going to die soon, like this one here, see that? Just take it off. And see, this is when the shears come in handy, when they get really, really close. And I don't want to pull the good stuff off. I can use my cutting shears. See, look all through there. So I'm looking through the whole stem. And I'm turning again. See, a lot of this was messed up from the rains. Here's another one. Look at that. I don't know. I may cut this out. Now, I'm gonna let it dry, see what it does. See, this one's a hot one. I'm trying to pull all these things out. All right, I'm turning. Look at this little one. They're all throughout. They just pull it out. Just pull it out, the whole thing. Okay, and here's one that's about to die. And you know what? I'm just gonna cut above that last leaf and, and start that one over again because it's gotten so leggy and I'm gonna do the same thing with that. Even though I, I hate cutting blooms, now I'm, I'm getting more confident about them coming back. Okay, so it may be looking a little skimpy now, but I'm telling you, in a week or two, 
it'll be back all right so that is our tutorial today on pruning petunias properly and and i sure hope that you've gotten it so let me show you one more just to show you again that's a seed pod look at that inside and that's a big one you need to always cut all of those out as you're watering every day as you're watering you need to observe and look at your plant for those seed pods so water and examine at the same time if you stay on top of it every day you won't have to go through what i just went through okay so thank you for tuning in today to nene's garden and i'll see you guys later bye bye